Today, we're diving into a popular post from the Reddit titled as, TIFU by chilling at my friend's place while she wasn't home. This post received 71,838 upvotes. Posted by Hollows of Your Heart. The post reads as follows. My friend Jenna moved into a nice, new condo last month and I finally got a chance to check it out for the first time today. I ended up arriving before she got home from work so she told me to let myself in with the spare key under the potted plant and to make myself comfortable. I made myself a sandwich and was meandering around eating and checking out her swanky new place when the front door opened and a really large and unfamiliar man with a duffel bag came in. Dude was intimidating and I'm a 4 feet 11 inches woman so I was immediately scared. He looked shocked to see me. I'm looking at his duffel bag and realizing that I surprised some piece of shit burglar. I panicked and threw my sandwich at his face and then locked myself in the bedroom. I'm shaking and he pounds on the door yelling at me to get the fuck out. I start screaming at him to get the fuck out and that I'm calling the police. Total bluff because I didn't have my phone. He then yells back that he is calling the police on M.E. This gives me pause. At this point, I look around and realize the bedroom I'm in definitely appears to be of the male persuasion. I ask him through the door if he knows Jenna, last name. He tells me yes, she is his next door neighbor. Well, apparently, Jenna's neighbor also keeps a spare key under a potted plant. So, today I fucked up by letting myself into my friend's neighbor's place smacking him in the face with his own sandwich and then screaming at him to get the fuck out of his house. TLDR today I fucked up by wasting a sandwich. A comment from user Cold Fork says, I start screaming at him to get the fuck out and that I'm calling the police he then yells back that he is calling the police on ME honestly. This image is fucking hilarious. This comment received 6448 upvotes. A comment from user Trout Sniffer 01 says, my cousin did this. He went to visit my grandma who lived out in the country and never locked the doors. She wasn't home so he let himself in and chilled in the lounger room. He noticed some kids' toys but knew our other cousin and her kid had been staying there, so thought nothing of it. While he was waiting, decided to call his dad and asked where grandma was. He said she was at home. My cousin explained, not she wasn't because he was in her house and she wasn't here. His dad asked if he was at her new place? Cousin had no idea what he was talking about. Turns out my grandma had moved recently and a new family with kids moved into her old place, the place my cousin had just let himself into. He booked it out of their quick smart, and we never found out if the new owners realized someone had been in their house while they were out. I hate to think what would happen if they'd come home while he was there. This comment received 5054 upvotes. A comment from user Gooner Joe 88 says, How did he react after an explanation and what kind of sandwich was it? This comment received 10,442 upvotes. A reply from the original author Hollows of Your Heart says, He was actually really cool about it. I explained everything and apologized profusely and cleaned up the sandwich. Pastrami on rye, after he had calmed down and realized I wasn't a crazy lady, he found it pretty funny and wasn't mad. We were outside in the area between their condos when Jenna came home. We told her the story and she was cracking up. I suggested they find better places for their spare keys because that is apparently a really common spot and next time I might not be around to throw a sandwich at a burglar. This reply received 14,936 upvotes. A comment from user master underscore of underscore downvote says, Reminds me of one of my first parties I went to. Never been to the guy's house and he said when you get there, go into the house with the Jaguar. Got there and the Jaguar was parked between two houses and I saw some dude walk through the side gate. I put two and two together and figured that was the house. But by now you can tell the relevance of this story. I entered the backyard and met with a few people by the pool, had a couple of conversations with them, and some guy comes out the house and approaches me with, who the fuck are you? I stumbled my words but managed to say, is this, blank, s party? And he replied, get the fuck out. And so I happily did. This comment received 413 upvotes.
A comment from user Time Lord of the Impala says, When there's no incest in a TIFU post finally, some good fucking content. This comment received 3890 upvotes. A comment from user Muddy Toe says, This story gets better if you date each other. No pressure. This comment received 14,195 upvotes. A comment from user An Anonymous User says, Invite him over for a beer or two and a movie. Apologize for the sandwich. She will have a good neighbor forever. A little loud one night, whatever. This comment received 795 upvotes. A comment from user A Botello 23 says, Spare keys under potted plants has to be the most generic thing ever. It's like ripped out of a cheesy movie. This comment received 940 upvotes. A comment from user An Anonymous User says, The mental image of a large man arriving home, only to find a surprised woman who throws a sandwich in his face is amazing. Best TIFU of the year so far for me. This comment received 607 upvotes. A comment from user wise underscore guy underscore Plato says, Son. So dad, how did you meet mom? Dad. It all started with a sandwich. This comment received 379 upvotes. A comment from user Tulsa throwaway 777 says, I'm trying to imagine how it would feel to come home after work and find a stranger in my home who threw a sandwich at me. I think after the shock wore off, it'd be a highlight of my life. This comment received 121 upvotes. A comment from user Hazard187 says, Finds new place for spare key asterisk. This comment received 171 upvotes. A comment from user An Anonymous User says, Can I just say that I think it's adorable your weapon of choice was a pastrami sandwich to the face? Lol. This comment received 96 upvotes. A comment from user Sherbert Bandit says, So, I lived in apartment land in a town that only survived because of the state college. My apartment looked just like the 40 other units in the area, and was on the fringe of Greek Row. Every year I had a few drunk people barge into my apartment demanding to know what I was doing there, or ask where X person was. Took me 10 minutes to get one of them out. This comment received 126 upvotes. A comment from user Adino says, Wow people actually keep keys under pots? That's pretty dangerous. Any bad guy with intent to get into your place to do nasty stuff will definitely always check around the area for keys because they probably know about this thing as well. This comment received 78 upvotes. A comment from user AJSTAR1000 says, What city do you live in where people know their new building neighbors and remember their names? This comment received 376 upvotes. A comment from user True Country Girl 2006 says, Oh my goodness I haven't laughed like that in a while. You hit him in the face with his own sandwich. Funniest part of the whole story. Seriously though. Are you both single? Sounds like an awesome beginning to a romantic comedy. This comment received 76 upvotes. A comment from user Elmo53 says, I'm sorry this happened to you and I can only imagine how scared you were. But I'd be lying if I said this didn't send me into an asthma attack from laughing lol. This comment received 305 upvotes.